What's going on guys? Jacob over here. So, uh, we have some Packers news to talk about today. It's not too big, but it is Packers news and these days it's kind of hard to come by after the draft. But um, the Packers had a conference call today uh, with the media. Uh, Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers are both on this call. Uh, and Aaron Rodgers was spe specifically asked uh, about uh, his reaction to the Jordan Love pick uh, in April's NFL draft. And he said that he was surprised. Uh, he also said he was not thrilled, but at the same time, he's excited to work with Jordan Love. So, uh, you know, pretty standard response, what you would probably expect from Rodgers. You know, I mean, it's like, who would who would really be thrilled about, you know, someone drafting their replacement? I mean, I, I get it. You know, this is the guy who's going to eventually replace you. You're probably never going to be thrilled about that because... That means you're getting old and your skills are declining. But uh, such is the reality in the NFL. You know, there comes a time where every NFL player has to think seriously about their future, not only in the league, but maybe even with the team they're playing with. And Rodgers did hint at maybe not finishing his career with Green Bay. He said, you know, it might not be uh, as much of a reality anymore, which is very, very true, of course. But I don't really think that's the big takeaway from this. You know, the big takeaway, I think, is, you know, that Rodgers was extremely professional in this uh uh, in this conference call, and he said he was very willing to work with Jordan Love, and he had a very good uh, call with him right after the draft, uh, or the day after he was drafted, I believe, and uh, going forward, he's really, really excited about their relationship. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I, I'm excited that Rodgers is willing to work with Jordan Love. He said he's going to treat him exactly how he would treat any backup quarterback, how he's treated, you know, Matt Flynn, Scott Tolzien, Brett Hundley, even Tim Boyle, you know. I'm pretty excited about that, you know, because... You know, the, the knowledge is going to get passed down to Jordan Love, and Jordan Love is without a doubt the most talented quarterback out of those backup quarterbacks that I just listed. So there's a serious possibility, you know. I mean, he could, uh, with a few years of training, you know, under Rodgers and development, he could become, you know, a, a Hall of Fame level quarterback. And, you know, this is the perfect situation for Jordan Love. It's he's got a Hall of Fame quarterback who's willing to teach you, who, you know, made a point about pointing that out in the conference call. He's very willing to work with Jordan Love, and that's what I'm really encouraged about. Uh, and, you know, it's if all that magic rubs off, on, rubs off on Jordan Love, you know, if he can absorb the information and, you know, make himself into a great uh, player, you know, not just talent-wise, but, like, intangible-wise, and uh, the ability to, you know, like, uh, take in knowledge from the, from the predecessor, he can be really, really great. And Aaron Rodgers had some experience with this as well, of course, uh, maybe not with as much of a willing uh, participant with Brett Favre, but at the same time, Rodgers, you know, he was able to sit behind Favre, and, you know, there are still some traits in Rodgers to this day that Favre had that he probably picked up from Favre. So even sitting behind Rodgers, uh, even if Rodgers wasn't willing to teach him anything, you still pick up on things. So the fact that Rodgers is willing to work with Jordan Love, and he hammered home that point in this conference call, that... That's pretty encouraging to me, but, uh, you know, of course, I'm sure the media is going to focus on the line where he says, you know, it's a, not as much of a reality anymore that he might finish his career in Green Bay. He said that he wanted to, but uh, he also said, you know, if he gets to a point where uh, he still feels like, in, like he can play, but the Packers want to move on, then he would end up playing elsewhere. So, I mean... It's a sobering reality, but it is the NFL these days, and it's always kind of been what the NFL is since free agency started. So, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the, and, you know, we're we're talking about, you know, like if the Packers do think that Jordan Love is finally ready. We don't ever know if the Packers are going to think that Jordan Love is going to be the guy. Right now they do think eventually he can be that guy, but it's still a risk you're taking. And, I mean, you spend a first-round pick on a guy, it's not like a – it's, it can be a gamble, especially if it's a quarterback and you already have a Hall of Fame quarterback. So, uh, you know, we don't know how it's going to turn out. Maybe the Packers don't like the way that Jordan Love is developing and then they end up trading him, uh, releasing him, you never know, and Rodgers end up spending, you know, into his 40s in Green Bay. Maybe they pick another guy in a, f a few years down the road when they think that Jordan Love isn't the guy anymore and, uh, you know, then Rodgers finishes out his career and the next guy takes over. You never know how it could work out. But, uh, of course, you know, if it all goes according to plan for Green Bay, then that would probably mean that Aaron Rodgers is uh, on the move somewhere else if he doesn't want to retire when the Packers want to 
uh, give the reins over to Love. But that's probably a few years down the road, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Right now, the Packers are in a pretty good position, in my opinion, and Aaron Rodgers even said himself, you know, he feels like they can be in the mix this season. Uh, his comments did actually take me a little bit by surprise when he said that uh, the expectations uh, aren't going to be as high, which kind of uh, seems strange because last season we were coming off of a 6-9-1 and nine and one season and we went 13-3. and three. I mean, the expectations go from last season going into the season, or from two seasons ago going into next season were not really that high, but we ended up going 13-3. and three. But I guess, you know, uh, the expectations, you know, are probably that we're going to regress a little bit because 13-3 and three against a first-place schedule is pretty hard to replicate. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, Aaron Rodgers was very professional, and it was very encouraging hearing him talk about how willing he was to work with Jordan Love and that he was going to treat him exactly like all the other backup quarterbacks. And, you know, of course, Scott Tolzien ended up being uh, a starter somewhere else for at least a few games. Matt Flynn has started games elsewhere. Uh, you know, Brett Hundley signed a pretty nice deal over in Arizona to be the backup quarterback. So those quarterbacks have all turned out pretty okay, and, you know, Obviously, none of them have the same talent that Jordan Love does, so we'll have to see how it turns out. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, AdelbertSport41512, and on Instagram, username Jacob underscore Ober, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Pat, go.